What's at the heart of communications is human beings, our intense desire to talk to each other, to collaborate with one another. We don't know how to stand still. We don't know how to do the same thing today. We always want to make it better. We always want to improve. The phenomenon came to be known as the transistor effect. Relayed by the We used to do it in a village, or in a neighborhood, or in a city. But now, with the network, we can have that same shared experience, regardless of where people are. This year, the number of mobile connected devices will exceed the world's population. More people have access to mobile technology than they do running water. It is fundamentally transforming economies and nations. There are over 900 million users for mobile phones in India today. They don't just use it to call each other. They use it to teach their kids English. They use it for mobile banking transactions. A 10% broadband penetration triggers between 1% and 3% GDP growth. This is not a static network. This thing's alive. I mean, it's, a, it's an achievement of monumental proportions. The Internet's a bit like a highway system, but it's global. And we're increasing the capacity of it 50, 60 plus percent per year. Mother Nature is giving us certain fundamental limits that we cannot go beyond. The Internet today is really reaching its breaking point. We need to think out of the box. So we need to have new approaches, be creative, and bring all the solutions together to solve this picture. Innovation is going to appear everywhere, driving a new digital economy that's global. When you innovate for a market like India, you will almost always come up with solutions that are highly disruptive when applied to the rest of the world. India will absolutely leapfrog the West. We must continue to drive the cost per bit down. And that doesn't just mean wireless, that means wireline, and it means fiber, copper, all mediums. We believe networks in the future are going to be cloud-based. If you're going to enter a space that has so many big companies, so much innovation around it, you have to act like a startup or don't bother doing it at all. We went from zero to being a thought leader to actually having product in the market within about a year. If you look at the dictionary definition of innovation, it's invention plus implementation. As we look at the challenges that the industry faces, then I, I don't know that Bell Labs has ever been more relevant. All of the inventions we have had to now haven't really put energy efficiency at the top. We can do much better than it. Green Touch is a great example where an industry is rallying around a grand challenge. We can reduce the energy consumption in communication networks by up to 90%. That's a big deal. The next really big challenge is to really make digital communications feel like I'm there. Also, we are actually divided by continents, and that's exactly what Alcat and Lucent is working on. So we are right in the middle of where the need is to innovate. I think what we are doing right now is really changing and improving people's life. Innovation is in our DNA. Innovation is who we are today. Innovation is who will be in the future. It's not just an exciting time, it really is an inspiring time. We are working on things now that will make a difference to generations ahead of us.